Okay, in this lesson, we're going to learn about how to perform mixed operations on rational expressions. This includes things like exponents, dividing, multiplying, addition, subtraction, which we use bed mass to help remember the order of operations for. So here's the first example. Simplify this expression. Now, we notice that we have a bracket here with two rational expressions and a subtraction operation. Over here we have another bracket, and it's right beside here, so we have multiplication. Now I need to multiply, but simplifying inside of a bracket comes first. So I need a common denominator. What I'm going to do is leave the first term alone. And the second term is just like the first term on the denominator, but the signs are reversed. So I'm going to factor out a negative 1. So you'll notice that my x squared change sign, 16 change sign, and I accommodate for that by changing the sign out in front. That's the factoring out of a negative one. Okay, so now that I have a common denominator, I will put this first bracket together with one denominator. So it's x plus x, negative seven plus negative one, negative eight. All right, that's my simplified bracket B of bed mass. Now, I'm going to multiply or divide. They're equally important. Notice this x squared minus 16 denominator and this x squared minus 16 numerator. They are factors because there's multiplication going on between the denominator, between the numerator. So these can be divided out, which I'll show by that cancellation. So 2x minus 8 has a common factor of 2. I'm going to factor that out as well. My denominator is this 2 over here. Okay, now I have a multiplication by 2, a division by 2. I can divide these 2's out, leaving me the answer, x minus 4. And this is completely simplified. So I followed order of operations to do that. All right, a more complicated situation is one like this. Complex fractions. Now, complex fractions occur when we have fractions inside of fractions. There's two different approaches we can take. One is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the LCD of all of the denominators that exist. The other option is to combine numerators and denominators separately, then divide the results. I'll show you what this looks like on one example. I'll work the example out two ways. So, method one on the expression 2 over 5x minus 3 over x squared all over 7 over 2x plus 3 over 4x squared. Our LCD needs to take into account 5x, x squared, 2x, and 4x squared. Now looking at the 5 and the 4 and the 2, my LCD is going to have to have the coefficient of 20. Looking at x and x squared, I'm going to need x squared. So I multiply by 20x squared on the numerator and on the denominator. Now the numerator, that's going to multiply onto this rational expression and onto this rational expression. Let's do that and see what that looks like. So I'm going to have 2 times 20x squared over 5x, and I'm going to have 3 times 20x squared over x squared. That's my numerator. Now I'm showing lots of work, more than what I would normally write down, just to make it really clear for you. There's your denominator first term, and your denominator second term. And I did the same idea there. On the denominator, I took this 20x squared and multiplied on this rational expression and this rational expression. You may want to pause and just study that for a moment to make sure that's clear for you. Okay, I'm not going to make things bigger. I'm going to make things smaller. I see the x, and that cancels with the square term. I see the 5, that cancels with a 5 factor in the 20, leaving a 4. So I've got 8 and x. Over here, my x squared and x squared divide out and cancel, leaving me 3 times 20, or minus 60. 
denominator. 2 divides out with the 20 leaving 10. x divides out with the x squared. So I have 7 times 10, or 70, and I have an x. Then, my 4 and my 20, I'll divide the 4 out, and I'll divide the x squared out, leaving 3 times 5, or 15. Now, 8 and 60 have a common factor of 4, 70 and 15 have a common factor of 5, so I could factor, writing the remainder in the bracket, numerator and denominator, it would look like this. Okay, so these are both good forms. This is the expanded form, this is the factored form, they're equivalently good. Now, let me show you the second method on the same expression. You can compare it alongside and see what you think. So I start with 2 over 5x minus 3 over x squared, 7 over 2x, and 3 over 4x squared. Okay, so I'm going to find a common denominator here. Time for class soon. LCD of 5x squared LCD of 4x squared. So this multiplies by x. The second one multiplies by 5. That's in order to get my LCD. Now this denominator needs 2x to make the LCD. And the second term is fine. It has 4x squared. All right. First term on the numerator, 2x squared, let me rewrite that, 2x squared, second term is minus 15, and let me observe that they both have 5x squared LCD, and I'll just save a step. There's my numerator. My denominator's already got the 4x squared, so let's write that down. And I have 4 times 2x, 14x, plus 3. Okay. What I do now when I have division, division of these fractions is I write it as multiplication of the reciprocal. So I change the denominator to its reciprocal. Let's cancel out the common x squared factor, leaving me with 4 bracket, 2x minus 15, and 5 bracket, 14x plus 3, which is identical to what I just got. You can judge which type that you like better. They're both reasonable methods of solving. Good luck.